The ongoing slow-motion implosion of the Trump administration saw major sparks last week with the bombshell 60 Minutes interview of former acting director of the FBI Andrew McCabe. Amongst other stunning revelations, McCabe recounted a disturbing incident in which Trump refused to believe the American intelligence community when they explained to him that North Korean missile launches posed a direct threat to the United States. Instead, Trump insisted that Korean weapons could not reach the United States because Russian President Vladimir Putin had told him so. That is to say, the President of the United States decided to trust one of our nation's avowed adversaries over the men and women sworn to keep us safe. If true, and there is really no reason to distrust a lifelong public servant like McCabe, it would constitute a shocking dereliction of duty on the part of Trump and shows that he directly endangered the country he is entrusted with safeguarding. Understandably, the news has been met with widespread disbelief and outrage. Now, MSNBC host and former White House communications director for George W. Bush has addressed the McCabe story and delivered a dire warning to Republicans, get off the Trump train immediately. She condemned the members of the GOP who still refuse to stand up to Trump even as it becomes increasingly clear that he isn't working in the interests of the United States and is instead working solely to save his own political career. In particular, she took aim at Fox News, which continues to shill for Trump despite his growing resume of scandals. This seems to me to be the off-ramp for anybody in the right-wing propaganda operation that says, I've done enough. I've gone along with the lunacy around the wall. Now he's doing something authoritarian in nature, usurping the power of Congress. I've done enough for this guy, Wallace said. SHE went on to bash Trump for his attacks on Andrew McCabe. Now he's taking a lifelong Republican, who if he had done any of the things Donald Trump accused him of doing, he would have been treated differently. He's out of work because he's allegedly lied to the inspector general, not because of any of Think's conduct around the Russia question or Russia investigation, Wallace said. She then put the current dilemma facing the GOP into stark terms and urged Republicans to disavow Trump and separate themselves from the MAGA movement, comparing it to survivors jumping off a sinking ship.